Well, we made it to Malawa. Malawa, I think it is. And uh, following Mr. Hawks' designs. So the next one here is um, in Malawa there, this beautiful little church, and there's a priest house around the corner. Not a big architect, not a big churchy sort of person, but um, yeah, something a little bit different there. And um, yeah, definitely does have quite a bit of, uh, bit of difference in his architectural designs. Let's see if I can find out a little bit more. Pretty neat use of the white dome there, which is similar to the one that was in um, Geraldton. Interesting entrances on the side. Can pop one in for a nosy. Often aching with lumbago and hardly able to lift a stone without groaning. The church was an expression of his faith. As to pride over the finished building, I don't think I ever had it. Our Lady's Church of Mollowall has always seemed to have an impersonal relationship to myself. Not as though I had designed it, because I prayed to St. Joseph every morning and commended the work to him. I was just his neighbor. The building of it was a great adventure and a sort of pilgrimage. It was not something made, but a thing that had grown. All I did was to discover it. Monsieur John Hawkes, also known as Reverend Hawkes or Dean Hawkes, was a remarkable Catholic priest who lived and worked in the Midwest from 1915 to 1939. Having trained initially as an architect, Hawkes designed many distinctive yet beautiful churches and other buildings whilst in the region. Some of his best works are St. Francis Xavier Cathedral in Geraldton and Our Lady of Mount Caramel church and priest house in Maloa where he lived for much of his time. Right so we're leaving the church here now heading next down to the next uh, port of call but what was interesting too is uh, yesterday was uh, Mr Hawkes's 146th year old birthday so uh, I think he died back in 1950 something so uh, yeah, happy birthday John. Woohoo, what a cracker of a day. Wow, you wouldn't say it weather-wise, but it's been pretty eventful. We left uh, Geraldton, only drove about 130 k's, made it here to Pindar. And look at the space. Mate, there is so much room here, and I doubt whether it's going to be packed out by tonight. Thank heavens for gravel pits, or gravel stops, 
road work areas. Um, they, they're so handy for us campers. And uh, I don't know whether you can see us, but uh, we just tucked them behind me. Just in there, we found a nice private little spot back there. It's good, got the fire going, found some firewood there. Bought some with us too, so we've got plenty. And uh, started the fire early and um, keep one keep the flies away. It is a bit chilly, even though I'm sitting on a tank top here. It's about 16, 17 degrees. Poor old Jude feels it a bit, so uh, we'll probably see her over there at the fireplace and she's snuggled up into her fleeces and her hat and all the rest. <laughs> anyway, Pindar. Great thing with Pindar is um, tomorrow morning, we're either going to do it today, but tomorrow morning, now that we've got ourselves so comfortable where we are, just uh, up behind me is the, uh, the flower wreaths. So apparently they're, um, they're a, a, just a, a round plant. Um, just looks like a normal bloody shrub or plant during the, the normal parts of the year. And then around, hopefully, around this time of the year, boom, they put a perfect circle of flowers on the outside of the, um, the, the, the tree. Or so, oh, the shrub, or the weed, whatever you call it. But apparently it's beautiful. Only happens a certain time of the year. Hopefully we've cracked this one and we can see it. Um, fingers crossed, tomorrow morning. Hopefully weather's nice and we can get some good footage. But hey, how's, how's the footage here though? I mean, you, you'd swear it looks like it's just snowed here with the, with the white flowers all the way around the place. Um, just a sign of a few things to come with the wildflowers at this time of the year. So, looking good. There we have it, the Pindar gravel pit. We drove through over there somewhere. And of course, uh, between a number of things, looking for the best reception, flat spot, a little bit of uh, idea for a fireplace or something and we uh, found ourselves nestled in the trees over there. Should be good, should be plenty of room here for neighbours. Um, I believe it's probably some grain, wheat. Um, I don't know whether the, it gets railed from there maybe. I'd say the trucks probably drop it off into there, don't quote me. And the rail picks it up, but there's a pindar. And then I think uh, down in the distance here, we can uh, drive about 10 k's to the wreath flowers, which I look forward to doing tomorrow weather permitting hopefully it's all good but we've got our own little uh, view of flowers around here and yeah you'd think at a quick glance we've just had some um, some quick snow but uh, yeah it looks beautiful out here on the aisle even there's a little bit of rubbish laying around there's also a great supply of firewood thanks to somebody who's done all that hard work um, so yeah we managed to snag this lovely little spot down here in the corner. There was a fireplace behind us there, but I've got my pop-up and it is doing a great job. Looking at this day And everything feels right We're interconnected, we have the world in our eyes I promise I will catch you whenever you fall Take my hand and we'll go through it all Loving you is all I Morning, we are on our way, Van is warming up, getting the last few things buttoned down and uh, we're on our way to the uh, reef flowers, so little, well, it's a slightly higher cloud but no, still, still a little gloomy, mightn't be as great but uh, go and have a look, it's only just up the road and then from there we'll move uh, further up to our next stop, not too sure where we'll end up, watch this space. made it to the parking spot for the reef flowers now to find some reef flowers so the road splits here parking on the side and then we're walking across the road she seems to have a camera out so I think she's been successful we'll have a look soon find out oh the road in was pretty good um, yeah probably 20 k's for the camper van there uh, the uh, 
the RV in some places, but there's some nice smooth spots, got up to about 50. So uh, yeah, just drive to conditions. All good. And there you go, parking spot over that side, which makes sense because you don't want to be swinging on the side of the road here and running over the precious grease flowers. Well, there you go, there's a little one. But, uh, cool. Alright, good walk. I think that's the start of them there. They're meant to be a perfect circle of flowers, so. Let's see if we can find some better examples. Can you tell us more? Yeah, all the way to the end. The old Pindar pub thrived in the early years there, obviously with the railway workers and the um, farmers. And I uh, had to close the door January the 5th, 1975. But still a residence, which is lovely to see. Grand old pub. And then further down the way there where Jude's coming back, that's the, uh, what is the post office. Yeah, the end of old Pin Pindar, but say, sees plenty of people through for the reef flowers and they were highly worth it. They were good.